Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are doing something different we are actually reacting to a TV show now bear with me because this is my first TV show reaction and we are here with The Last of Us episode 8 which I believe is titled When We Are In Need so bear with me I'm actually trying to post this up on YouTube because it's going to be a lot of trial and error during the editing in order to hit that fair use so bear with me and Let's get it done. Revelation 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Do you remember what comes next? Wouldn't have a clip. And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. For there will be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither will there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Do you know what that means? Not really. You see me looking down because I'm actually uh, taking notes. Got my Pokemon notepad and just a pen. <laughs> Nothing special about it, but yeah. You see me looking down, I'm just taking some notes so I can remember some things. How much do we have left? Venison. Yeah, I'll grab it. Keep the whole town on rations. Maybe a week. Two at best. Josiah and Martin think they spotted some deer the other night, a couple miles east. It was dark. See what you want to see sometimes. Anyway. What I need to do is actually... James. Yeah, he's there. Yeah, yeah. That'll help. I sense doubt in there. They haven't lost faith in you, David. They're just scared. Not from them. I still believe. It's been, uh... The last six months have been hard. For all of us. But I need to know you're with me. Gosh, it said clicking. I thought it was going to be a clicker, but apparently it's just a deal. Damn. No fucking way. All right, go talk to Howard. He's got a case with some penicillin. Bring back okay. two bottles and a syringe. It's not code, James. Do as I said. Two bottles of penicillin. All right. So, what's your name? It's hard to trust strangers, I know, but I honestly mean you no harm. 
And for what it's worth, there's room for you in our group, if you want. You're inviting me to your hunger club? Thanks. It's true, we're hungry, but we're still here. I'm a decent man, just trying to take care of the people who rely on me. Okay. You're the leader? It wasn't my choice. It was theirs, but... Yeah. They chose to follow you. Is this some weird cult thing? Uh, well, you sort of kind of got me there. I am a preacher, but just mm, pretty okay. standard that makes Bible sense. stuff. What? The whole world ended and you still believe that shit. We didn't expect this winter to be so cruel. Nothing will grow. The game's been hard to find. So I sent four of our people to a nearby town to, to scavenge what they could. And only three of them came back. And the one that didn't was a father. He had a daughter just like you. And her dad was taken from her. Turns out he was murdered by this crazy man. And get this, that crazy man was traveling with a little girl. You see? Everything happens for a reason. James, lower the gun. She is the one that killed Alec, isn't she? She didn't kill anybody. Lower the gun. Joe, where the fuck do I put this? <sighs> fuck it. Told them what happened. If you've heard a rumor, yes, we found a girl who was with the man who took Alec from us. When the sun rises, I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail. Won't be hard to find in the snow. We'll follow it to wherever they're hiding, and we'll bring that man to justice. You should kill him. You should kill both of them. I would head back inside. Mind you, I probably wouldn't even be alive at this point. I'd be dead. And then there's the fact that I probably wouldn't even pick up on the birds leaving. Hey, I'd be alert. like, okay, it could this have been any. He's not already dead. He's dangerous. What about the girl. We bring her back with us. Joe, Joe, wake up. Joe, wake the fuck up, Joe. Fall asleep. Keep coming, fuckers. Guys, I wouldn't have figured that out. Joel. 
I started worrying you wouldn't wake up. Well, that's certainly the goal. Hungry? Why am I in a cage? Because I'm afraid of you. You're a dangerous person. You've certainly proven that. The others, they want me to kill you for all that's happened. Did you hear me say the others want to kill you? Yeah. But I stopped them. Fuck you. Look at the price. Why don't we just start with your name? Eat shit. Hey, listen to me. You can't survive on your own. No one can. But I can help you. Let me protect you. Oh, shit. Damn. Joel was doing a lot there. Same spot your buddy points to. <laughs> it's where we are. I swear. Go ask him, he'll tell you I'm not lying. No! No! Oh. I mean, probably wasn't gonna end any other way, but... Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. Man, gotta learn to clean up stuff. It's nasty. So when they say venison, do they actually mean venison, or do they mean if like? If you want to judge me, judge venison. You. You're eating people, you sick fuck. What other food source is there? Think of what we could do together. As strong as we are, we'd make this place perfect. We'd grow, spread out, and we'd do whatever we needed for our people. Imagine the life we could give them. Imagine the life we could build. This is where you pull him forward and punch him in the face. Ah! Oh, that. That works too. Hmm. Now she would have turned by now. This isn't real. That looks pretty fucking real to me. <laughs> Gonna start burning all of that down. No one likes being humiliated, Ellie. You don't know how good I am! You don't know what I could have given you! If you would just let me! What is his deal, man? Well, I have news for you. I can't figure this guy out. Neither one of us is dying today. You see, I've changed my mind. I've decided you do need a father. So I'm gonna keep you. And I'm gonna teach you. Ellie. I mean, why scream when you're running towards someone, stab? She just needed to stay quiet, could have done a bit more damage. Come on, Joe. I thought you already knew. The fighting is the part I like the most. Alright. 
Don't be afraid. This dude is just no fear in love. screwed in the head. Man. Nice, nice. Damn, Alec. I should have counted. Uh, I didn't count. I need to <laughs> maybe rewatch this back and see how many times she uh, she actually stabbed him. Just so. Baby girl. That's the first time he's caught it. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know where to begin with all this. To be honest, I mean. If you can see my uh, my notepad here, is the whole page is full of notes, man. I mean, I got Silver Lake. Like, what kind of resort was that, man? Is it like a hunter's lodge or something? I mean, I got uh, I got David and James. I got uh, you know the medicine she got for the you know, as a sort of an exchange. I guess you could call it that. Was already used up the two penicillin shots. Uh, I don't know who Alec is. I have to rewatch some episodes. Uh, if someone could tell me who Alec is, I must have missed that. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to bring up was, um, man, where did I even put that? Um, the fungus was it cordyceps or something? Is that the fungus cordyceps? Have they mentioned that before? Because I, I cannot remember cordyceps at all. It's, um, yes, what's his name? Uh, let's say, yeah, David. Man, I could not figure that guy out at all. Like, he seemed like a decent enough guy at the beginning. He was leading his people through the apocalypse, and then he just turned into a fucking monster. Just a cannibalistic monster, really. Just, like, who... Who were they killing? Was it just people that others had killed? Were they actively just finding people that came across their resort and killed them and ate them? Or, like, who were they eating? I'm like, I don't know, man. I understand that, like, you know, limited resources, especially during the winter where animals are probably elsewhere instead of being in that area. And you don't have deliveries coming in, no nothing. It's the middle of the apocalypse. You got to do what you got to do. But, I mean, still, I mean, obviously there's deer running around. There's rabbits. And they, they say venison is obviously, either it is actually venison and half the time it's people. But I don't know, man. Um, Joel, man, and Joel did all right in this episode. I'm still fairly weak, probably. <clears throat> you know, I'm surprised he actually had the energy to surprise attack someone and then interrogate a couple of others and didn't quite make it there in time. Ellie had to take care of business, but I mean, she did all right. <laughs> she handled it fairly well. And my other notes, man, there wasn't a lot happening. I mean, I got Joel calling her calling Ellie baby girl. I believe that may be the first time he's ever done that. But I mean, other than that, it's just another taking out the bad guys. And, uh, you know, the pacing of this show is actually being very, very good. Yeah. You get a couple episodes where it's like, all right, here's some backstory. Here's this, and, you know, uh, you know, here's a side story with Bill and Frank and, and, Whatever, the pacing so far has been good. I don't know where the story's going. Like I said during the reaction, I've not actually played the game, so this is my very first experience with The Last of Us. And, yeah, I mean, the whole thing with, yeah, I got, uh, like, God's plan, like, you know, it's, it's God's will, everything happens for a reason, or, you know, whatever, it's just, you know, they killed Alec, and then they ended up in the same area. And they're trying to get, the, trying to kill Joel, and whatever. It's, a, it's all, you know, as God wills it type of deal, which I don't buy into, man. It's just circumstance, really. Like, it could have gone anywhere, but because they're all just all on foot, 
you know, they're not driving anywhere, going anywhere, they're just staying in the same area. You're bound to run into each other, right? So, I mean, nothing about God would convince me about that. Other than that, not a lot happened in that episode. It's just basically finding out who these guys are. I don't know if they were Fireflies or if they're just some random commune that showed up. I don't think they're Fireflies. I think they are just some commune, but... Obviously, they're connected to a previous episode where they killed Alec. And I'm like, I don't know, man. And a couple of things with Ellie, you know, picking up the birds, fleeing the trees. Obviously, that means there's something going on in that area. Maybe you investigate, you stay away. I would have seen him and been like, ah, whatever, something scared him off. It could have been an animal of some kind. People walking through, like, it could have been anything. It could have been infected. There's no infected in this episode. But, uh, obviously, Infected can't literally be everywhere, or in every episode. It's basically about human survival. It's basically what the whole thing is about, I suppose. A couple things like that, but I was like, I would have seen the birds leaving and been like, eh, whatever. <laughs> and would have noticed until it was too late that those guys were showing up. Uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this episode. I, I got nothing else to talk about, even though... I got all of that. It's just random stuff like uh, a bit of a scripture that I'm not big on. It's like, when we are in need, he shall provide. I got Timothy and Marco. Interrogation, torture, even though I think they're both dead now. Uh, I believe James is still alive. Um, yeah, you got, um, he, uh, what's his name? David slapped Hannah. And give her a bit of a backhand for speaking out or disrespecting him in some way. That whole scene didn't really make a lot of sense to me. It's just more towards his personality of being a dick. Uh, yeah, I got penicillin. I got birds leaving trees. I got, yeah, willing to trade two penicillin syringes for half a deer. But, like, that's it. Not a lot happened in this episode other than just Ellie getting caught, getting herself out of the situation without Joel, which which is good. Good on her part. And Joel actually recovering enough to kill some guys, sneak up on them, interrogate them, make his way to the resort. Join me next time for more, guys.